Hey, how's it going? Good, good. How are you? What do we got here? We have a W.F. Cody Buffalo Bill whiskey decanter set from the late 1800s that was given to him as a present. This was supposedly a gift that was presented to him? Yes, yes. OK. And he was a whiskey drinker. And uh, I'm, a lot of people are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I'm good with that. <laughs> I'm at the pawn shop to sell my Buffalo Bill whiskey decanter set. It was given and presented to W.F. Cody Buffalo Bill as a present from Jay Nikitas, village mayor. I love Buffalo Bill. I love his story. He's a great American hero, and he's the most well-known American in all the world in the 1890s. I'm looking to get $1,800 for this whiskey decanter set for Buffalo Bill. This is interesting. So, I mean, obviously, it's a decanter set. It's what somebody would pour their liquor into. Um, and it's Buffalo Bill, one of the oddest people that you're going to find in the history books in the Old West. You could say the guy was 10 feet tall, the amount of stories that were written about him. I mean, there was, I think, 190 different little books written about him, little dime novels that were written by romance authors. And the same thing went for a stage show. I mean, he did Buffalo Bill's Wild West all through Europe and the United States as well. You know, he was a big character. He was really well known for his time. He was a really, you know, well known actor. I just, it's so hard to separate the fact and fiction. Yeah, absolutely. Do you mind if I take a look at it? Absolutely. Help yourself. To Buffalo Bill, W.F. Cody, and it says Village Mayor. Uh, and it's from the Army and Navy, turn of the store. It's, it's an Army Navy kind of like co op store that they made that mm -hmm. was actually a real store. Was this original to it? Because this yes. looks rather modern to me. This all looks authentic, but this engraving on the bottles looks a little. It came with it, as far as I know. Does it have the key? I mean, I'm assuming. Actually, it... it's missing, and somebody actually told me that he threw it away when he quit drinking. So, what are you trying to do with it? What are you trying to get? I'm looking to sell it today. For how much? $1,800. Okay. I mean, if it did belong to him, we're definitely not far off on that number. But with a lot of things, Buffalo Bill, you just never really know. Um, so let me give my buddy a call, and I'll be right back, OK? Really appreciate that. Thank you. I'm very confident this will be authenticated, but I'm looking to find out more information on the background of this item. What's up, Mark? Hey, Corey. Uh, it's doing well. Keep him busy. Here are the Buffalo Bill whiskey decanters I called you about. Interesting. William Frederick Cody, better known as Buffalo Bill, got involved with just about everything in the Old West. I mean, he was in the Civil War. He was supposedly a Pony Express rider. He was in Indian Wars, almost created the, the idea of the Old West show and became an international star mm -hmm. doing that. He defined parts of the Old West and continues to do. I, guessing that you have some questions about yeah, it. Yeah, I mean, because everything with Buffalo Bill could be so exaggerated, you just never know the truth. My biggest question is, you know, was it really his or not? <laughs> OK. Is there any paperwork that goes along with this? No, sir. OK. That is kind of an issue. I, I need to take a closer look at it. Let me see what it says here for Buffalo Bill W.F. Coney from J. Nikitits. That could be a number of different people. Well, it's from the Army and Navy stores, OK. That company was actually started by a group of British officers in the 1870s. They built camp furniture. They built things like this. What I can say is that this is period correct. It is from a company that was active at that time. It is the kind of thing that they made. The problem is with what I see here, there's just no way that I can say with absolute assurity that this was something given to Buffalo Bill. So pretty much, there's really no way to tell unless we got some kind of paperwork proving it. Yeah. All right, Mark, well, I appreciate it. OK. Sorry about that, but. <laughs> me too. Yeah. But thanks for letting me see it. It's, it is an interesting time period specific piece. Thank you. We'll see you later. Take care, Mark. So, I mean, what you have here is something really interesting. It could be his. You know, uh, there's just no way of telling without some kind of paperwork. Sure. Thanks for bringing it in. Take care. Appreciate you. Though today I didn't get any dollar bills for my Buffalo Bill, I'm confident I'll be able to get a lot of money at an auction.